Hi, this is Michael from For The Adventure. Today I want to talk to you about communication devices. Um, these are some of the communication devices that we will be adding to our rig, uh, also known as the blood vessel. It's our Jeep. And uh, we're going to add these to the uh, Jeep because sometimes when you're out on the trail rides, um, you're hiking or so forth, you don't have uh, cell service. So we need some other form of communication. These uh, are some upgraded um, communication devices over what I have now. I have a regular CB in the Jeep now, um, but these are going to be more powerful and uh, uh, add more clarity and so forth. So we have a mobile unit that we're going to be putting in the Jeep and also that we have a handheld unit. So we're going to discuss the, uh, some of the characteristics of these units. Like the video. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>
I know there's like some of the uh, travels we do uh, in some of the trail rides and so forth, the branches and so forth, we'll hit the antenna and, and so on. So <clears throat> I wanted something, I didn't want to take a chance on bending the antenna. I don't know if it's necessary, but uh, it's just something I wanted. Also, uh, we got this bracket here for the JK Jeep. Um, it will mount on the driver's side windshield and then the antenna will mount here. And then one other item that I had already um, is this quick disconnect mount for the radio itself. This goes on the passenger side of the Jeep right down next to the console. And uh, it actually is a quick release where you can loosen those up, take the radio right on out because the radio, will, <coughs> radio bracket will mount to there. So you can just take the radio out, unhook the cable, take the radio out. And this part here mounts to the um, console on the passenger side in the Jeep. Okay, so these are the radios that we're going to install or in use in our comms devices, or for our comms devices for the Jeep. Um, one thing I like to say about these are that these are different than the regular blister pack handhelds that you buy at the uh, local big box store that uh, you know like walkie talkies and so forth they they work on one uh, set of frequencies these uh, this the small handheld here has five watts of power this mobile unit here has 45 watts of power and in order to use these to their full potential you will need a license from the FCC now these license are it takes about 10 minutes to get the license you go on to the uh the fcc website you'll get an frn number and then you can go on to the fcc website and apply for the license i will put uh, the links to all the license information in the description below um we uh you can it takes about 10 minutes to get the license to fill out all the paperwork after that and then it's like 70 at the present time it's 70 dollars and that license is for 10 years um that being said you know you can like if you lower the power on the handheld and you're using the uh frs um frequencies and so forth you can you can use the radio on those frequencies um um, but there's discussion about the antenna and so forth. I'm not an expert on the radios or anything else, but I do know this. I bought a 5-watt handheld and a 45-watt mobile unit. I plan on using these radios to their full potential. So if I'm going to use these radios to their full potential, I needed to get a license, and I have uh, acquired a license to use these radios on the GMRS uh, frequencies. Okay, without getting into too much detail um, of the different radio services out there, um, you have uh, several different ones. Uh, some that are common are the MERS, which is the multi-use radio service. Then you have the uh, FRS, uh, which is the family radio service. And then you have the GMRS, which is the general mobile radio service. Um, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the FCC website and the different types of uh, radio service there. Um, so you can check it out and uh, you know be more informed about that. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not an expert on the radios by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, um, I don't uh, want to come across like I am an expert. So, <clears throat> but uh, that's, that's where I got my information from. There's several other videos out there that tell you uh, about the different frequencies and so forth. Um, we did touch base on the fact about uh, programming these radios. Uh, I'll put a description, or in the description, I'll put a link to the um, website where you can um, get the uh, software to program these radios. Um, and uh, also, I'll, I'll put a link in there to some uh, other stuff as well to give you more information. But uh, <clears throat> this is what we're going to go with. Uh, you know, um, we're going to do an install video here shortly of the uh, mobile unit. And then uh, we did get the uh, software for programming. So uh, we'll do like a short little video also on the, uh, on the programming. So 
um, this is this was just trying to do a quick little update on like what we're gonna do as far as our communication devices for our Jeep. Um, so when we go out on trail rides and so forth. So um, until next time, enjoy the adventure.